Hey, welcome to Excel Video 482, everybody. I'm Nate Moore. If you own your data, if it's the SQL Server database that has your PM or EHR data is on your network and you have control, it's so much easier to grab the data and for me to do the kind of analysis that we're talking about today. If you don't own your data, if it's in the cloud and you have to say, Mother, may I to get anything, it's harder but doable. If you own your data, we can do a lot of this stuff and make it happen for you relatively quickly, and I'd love to help you when you're ready. I want to build a dates table today. And again, the reason to build a dates table is what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a relationship between this field, this date field, and then a date field in your data. It might be the date of service. It might be the date of payment. It might be the appointment date. But once we relate or join or link this date to that date in your other table, whether it's a date of service or appointment or whatever, then what we can do is we can pull in the year of the appointment, the quarter of the appointment, the month, the month number, the short description of the month. We can do the long description of the month. You can do whatever you want around that date without writing a whole bunch of formulas and a whole bunch of VLOOKUP. What you do is you set up a dates table. You set up a relationship between this date and the date you want to work with, and you're good to go. So what we're going to do today is build this dates table. I've picked, oh, eight or nine or ten fields you might want to look at when you group dates in a pivot table or in Power View. Remember, you can't group dates like you can in a regular pivot table when you're playing in Power Pivot or Power View, so you've got to build one of these to group the dates the way you want. I'm going to give you in the, the description, the text that comes along with this video, the formulas for each of these, so don't get worked up about how I'm doing it. All I'm doing is coming back over here and saying, hey, in cell A2 where my date is, I'm going to format it as text with this code that's going to make it do a long weekday description, or I'm going to use this weekday function or whatever to do it. The key to the dates table is this. You've got to have a date in the dates table for every date in your date range. So you're not going to try to say, well, we're only open Monday through Friday, or well, I want to get Christmas out or whatever. I'm not worried about that. What I want to do is have a date from when my dates start to when my dates end, including every date out there. So let's just assume for the sake of argument I built my table. What I want to do is I want to create a date so I can drag down to create dates like this. Isn't it handy to have data in a table? Look at all those formulas just happened for me. Life's good, right? So what I'm going to do is let's just assume for the sake of argument that my data goes from 2012, let's say to 2015. So I'm going to drag down and Excel will help me with my dates here. I close in on the end of 2015. I want, oops, excuse me, that's the end of 2014. Let's go a little further. I want to have my dates table run to include every possible date in that range. Once I do that, and Excel helps me with this table, now for any date that I'm going to analyze in Power View or Power Pivot or wherever I go, Power Map, Power BI, whatever date I go, I've got eight or ten different fields around that date that I can use to group by or to chart by or whatever I'm going to do. That's the key to the game. What you want to do is build a dates table that has every date and then you can choose. I'm going to give you several sample formulas in here. If you say, no, I don't want JAN, I want to spell out January or I want to spell out January here or I want whatever you want to do. You can build these formulas once, relate the dates, and you're in business. Watch for the text to show you how to build or the formulas to build all these guys and you're good to go. You've got a dates table. We can continue to work on our power pivot analysis. Stay tuned. The next Excel video will keep working on our analysis so we can get to the point where we can start actually playing with it. Thanks for watching.